Hello folks, I'm Angie Petty and I'm an instructional designer for academic technology. I want to share one little thing about using OneSearch from J. Paul Leonard Library to provide digital content to your students in Canvas. Have you ever wondered if your old PDF scans might be too blurry or too spotty? If you answered yes to these questions, then there's definitely a better and more accessible way to provide digital content to your students. The library has a collection of more than 200 databases that can explore and provide quick links for students to gain access to. Let's begin by going to the library's website, library.sfsu.edu. You will see one search on the home page. You can complete a search with the name of an article, journal, author name, etc. For this example, I want to find the Chronicle of Higher Education. I type Chronicle of Higher Education into the search bar and select the yellow search button. From this page, I recommend that you use the sign in feature at the top right of the page. This gives you and your students full access to all available content. You will log in using the Student and Employee Login selection button. You will now see your name in the top right corner. This step is important so that you may view full articles with online access. Next, I will select the Chronicle of Higher Education from the list and I will be rerouted to the Chronicle of Higher Education's website with full viewing capabilities. Typically, this publication is behind a paywall. Now, let's go back to the library's website and look for a specific journal article. In this example, I want to search for an article in Psychology Today named Boosting Brain Energy and Attention Performance. I enter the title into OneSearch and select the yellow search button. I see that the full text is available for this article. I will select this article to ensure that it's the correct one. I'm still signed in from my original search, so I will not need to repeat this step. I notice that there are several databases that carry this particular article. I will select the top one. I'm then redirected to EBSCOhost and I will select the specific article from here. I may be tempted to download the PDF from here for my students, but I want to follow fair use guidelines and provide the most accessible versions of this document to my students in my Canvas course. So instead, I'm going to go back to the search that I just completed for this article on the library's website from the tab at the top of my screen. When I look at the top of this web page, I notice that there are several buttons to choose from. I want to copy the permalink for this article. This serves a few purposes. One, when I share the link with my students, it will direct them to this specific article in the library. And two, it will help the library keep record of the number of students that are accessing library materials so that they know what materials are being used frequently at SF State. Now that I've copied the link, I want to share it with my students on Canvas. I go to the module that I want the article to live. I choose the plus button for the module. I add an external URL. I paste in the link and create a page name. I will use the article name, Boosting Brain Energy and Attention Performance. And finally, select Add Item. I will find the link at the bottom of the module. I will click on the link and find myself at the specific article's library webpage. I hope that you will use OneSearch from the library to provide your students with a variety of media and course content. There are an incredible number of educational supports right at your digital fingertips. Also, remember that you can find academic technology support documentation on our website, athelp.sfsu.edu. Thanks for tuning in and be on the lookout for more videos on One Little Thing.